little bit at about 144 knots. And flap 40. So everything is looking good, and the autopilot is now fully handling our approach. We're just above 5,000 feet. At this point in time, it's probably not a bad idea to put your gear down. Obviously, that's very important. If we just look out the window here, sure enough, we we see the runway, and everything is good to go. With both autopilots activated, the autopilot is actually going to be performing a full auto land. It'll also flare the aircraft for us. So all we're going to have to do once we touch down is just retard the engines. Las Vegas is nicely coming into the picture now. Okay, we're continuing on. Everything looks good. Like I said, at this stage of the game, really all you're doing is just monitoring the autopilot. Always prepared just in case you have to abort the landing for whatever reason, whether it's a engine failure or you're directed to do so by ATC. Maybe there's an aircraft on a runway. You'll notice that one of the things that has changed now, one of, thing that ch one of the things that changed is this has now changed to flare. This is letting us know that the autopilot is in fact going to flare the plane as it touches down. And everything is still looking good. Okay, I went ahead and disconnected the auto throttle. And we have touchdown. I will go ahead and select my reverse thrust, which actually isn't really even all that necessary because this is a very long runway but I can probably almost stop without using any brakes. So there you have it. I hope that you found this tutorial somewhat useful. I know it was uh, a little long and there's probably a couple things that I missed along the way but this will give you a, a basic idea. Remember, the best way to learn the FMC is just to use it. Practice, practice, practice. You're going to make lots of mistakes, but eventually you're going to have it down pat.